There are many selection tools you can use to complete this first part of the assignment. I'm going to show you three of them, but you have access to many different types, and so feel free to use any of them. The first one I'm going to show you is the magic wand. This is great if the selection that you're doing is all basically the same color, because it's going to detect uh, the same color. So I'm clicking on the magic wand, and I'm going to come over here and do a bunch of the white. So I'm going to click on our hat and see how it's basically selected all of the hat. I'm going to hold down my shift key and then press her sleeve, hold down my shift key, press the apron, and if I'm very careful, hold down the shift key. So as I hold down my shift key, it's going to keep adding to my selection. So I've selected most all of the white parts of the milkmaid, and I want to change the colors. I'm going to come up here to Image. I'm going to come to Adjustments, and we've already learned about doing the hue and saturation. This is a great one. You can go ahead and and adjust it a little bit and you'll see that her bonnet changes ever so slightly. So it's just changing the hue a little bit so you can use that one. Another one that will give you a bigger contrast under adjustments is if you use the color balance. So this is very similar. You see the different colors here. And as I adjust these tools, I can change the color of her apron and hats. So you have both of those tools available to you to change the color after you make the selection. Now anytime you finish a selection, you should always come here to select, deselect before you try the next one. It makes it easier. Another, another one that we're going to show is the polygon lasso. I like this one because you have a lot more control and I want to select maybe um, part of this curtain. So I'm going to click here and I just do lots of little clicks as I go. Every time I click, it adds a new point. I'm just going to come over the atlas. I keep clicking, keep clicking. I'm going to cut into the curtains instead of doing them all because I'm not going to take that much time. But as I just go a little bit and click, go a little bit and click, until I have the selection. Now you'd probably want to do all of it, but the polygon, this polygon lasso tool is very handy for odd shapes and you just click as you go until you get the whole shape. Now that I've got this, I might come here to my adjustments and go to my color balance again. And I can really make some difference now that I've got some color. I can really change what it looks like. So it's pretty interesting. And I'll go to deselect. The third one I want to show you is the magnetic lasso tool and it's going to detect edges so if you have a stark contrast between the shape that you want to do and, and its background then this is a handy tool so because it will detect the edges so you see over here I'm going to select this door and it's fairly a good contrast between the two so I'm going to start over here and as I'm not clicking I'm just dragging and it's detecting the edges for me just kind of dragging. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty good. So I'm just dragging the mouse along. It's detecting the edges and giving it points. So it's quicker than the polygon lasso tool, but it's not going to be as precise. So sometimes you just have to make your choices. I'm going to double click there. So you see I've gotten a pretty good selection of the door. I'll come here to image adjustments go to my color balance and I'm going to change the color of the door. So those are three ways to do the selections. Of course there's many other options so any way that you want to do it will be fine. Several things for you to, to different several things for you to select and after you make a selection change the color and that way you can remember that you have it done.